Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, I'm down here in the kitchen as far as that goes. I'm just having a midnight snack as far as that goes. Even though it's already about almost 3 o'clock in the morning. So anyways, I just had this sort of thought. About a lot of things there. And I think one of the things here is there's a lot of people that are like insecure with themselves and don't know how to deal with their insecurities. And so they would kind of latch on to some kind of ideology of that sort, whether if it's those archaic religions like Christianity and all that and go into it very deeply of that sort or they go into some pseudo religions like like the whole um, social justice far leftist ideology of that sort you know what I mean and then others it's really more or less by tearing other people down in some ways in that sense, you know, there's all these stories of, on um, Reddit, of dealing with entitled parents or, or people of that sort, you know, and especially if they had parents of their own that were like that, that belittle them in every way in turn and all this sort of stuff. It's simply the fact that they're insecure and couldn't deal with that sort of thing. And then there are certain people, you know, that they're not necessarily belittling and all that openly, but there are some that's just more of a covert way of belittling and all that. I think I never really totally saw it, but I think I saw it maybe some point or another when I was in my teens up until my 20s at that point there were people that were like that that were solely trying to unravel me or, or all this sort of shit like that you know it it was sort of the reason why i acted this sort of way even though to them i was being being difficult or whatever it was but a lot of times I was kind of being downright accusatory of them, you know, they're saying that if if they really wanted to help me, then don't get in my way or or don't go around and try to covertly belittle me or something like that. And there were there might have been times where I had these kind of arguments with my parents for that matter, because I always thought that maybe they were just going to belittle me do all these sort of things like that because of that even though it wasn't necessarily that way entirely but as far as that goes there was just certain times that I just wanted to be left alone and I just did not know how to sit at the time that I just needed my space needed to be left alone and that they just wanted wanted to understand that sort of thing and a lot of times certain people just don't get that you know you know what I mean and so there were times that I might have um, bitten their heads off or whatever it is you know when I just simply just wanted my space and just wanted to be left alone and and that sort you know but I think when I look at it this way there, there were certain people that were like that, that only taking that kind of position of being in, in the special ed or a psychiatrist or that sort because it's easier to be in a position of power rather than dealing with their own insecurities of that sort. And it was like that one case about that, that, uh, uh, what was that guy's name? He was the one that ran off with a girl, I think it was sometime last year or two years ago. And someone had stated that, well, he was only a doctor simply because he wanted to have a, a position of authority of that sort. 
and simply because he was insecure with himself. And it was sort of the same thing when he was trying to exploit this one girl there and had him ran away with her and all that because a, a lot of those people that are like younger don't know about that kind of stuff there. And to tell the truth, I mean, I kind of also knew that there, that there were people that were going to try to do that. I just, I was always being kind of overtly cautious of that sort of stuff because of that. You know? Because the same thing there, you know, you know, with like my parents, you know, who, I mean, they could say this sort of stuff there, but how would I would know if they're not going to go around and do the very same things that they warn me about? Or the same thing with those teachers and all that, you know? Or uh, those psychiatrists or psychologists of that sort, because they have that position power and they can abuse that position of power just like anybody else, you know? But as far as that goes, it's just something that a lot of people who were in my position have a hard time reconciling that, yeah, certain people could do harm, but then most of everybody isn't really that way, you know, and it, it took me a long time for me to, to reconcile pretty much 95% of all that sort of stuff. I mean, hell, it's sort of the whole reason why I kept talking about a lot of the things when it came to adult transition back in the day, and it was mainly because of that. The fact that they didn't know how to help me of that sort. And a lot of the, the, the bullshit there was just me wanting them to do their job and, and help me better as far as that goes and help me in the way that I wanted help. And they didn't really get the message until it was like when I had one foot out the door, when I had that opportunity to get out of there of that sort. Yeah, although it was like in high school or prior to that, I had to grin and bear it because, I mean, do you really want to have that diploma of yours? You know, that sort of stuff. But it, it, as far as that goes, I didn't necessarily have to deal with any of that there. You know, especially when it came to any of the teachers that I had problems with in high school there. I could have immediately had, had a had uh, gone right through through it and transferred out of my old high school and I'm gone to my brother's high schools uh, just because I didn't like that teacher anymore and and he was a pain and difficult to work with you know but I think somehow he probably had realized that realized that that he had to listen to me a little bit better on a lot of things and all this sort of stuff, you know. And I think it was the last year of high school, he wasn't really that much anymore. But it was like the same thing there. The only reason they made that kind of concessions as far as when it came to adult transition at that time was because, as I said before, I had one foot out the door. And it's... The same thing when it came to all these sort of situations there. People who are always dealing with such people that are control freaks, they'll take that first opportunity to cut them out of their lives of that sort. And which, in, in a lot of cases, when it came to ones who were in that stories of raised by narcissists, but if it's a girl, they will go off and marry the first guy they see. Or a guy... The same thing, you know, or they'll go to miss go to, uh, they'll go to join the military or, or, or study abroad or whatever it is, you know, that sort, you know what I mean. And a lot of times I think it's just that people need to work on their own insecurities, and that is just simply better than trying to inflate themselves up 
or tear somebody else down. And by building themselves up in a more honest way is the way to go. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.